院总理李克强五月十九号主持召开国务院常务会议，部署做好大宗商品落实，提高部分钢铁产品出口关税，对生铁。Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we have not that good news because I think everyone have heard about the rumors. So if you want to know more about it, just stay tuned and keep watching. First, we are going to talk about the inventory and the prices. Last week in the Wuxi market of the 300 series, the inventory increased by 8,600, reaching 306.3 thousand tons. Lately, the price has declined as the demand strong. The inventory in the 200 series in the Wuxi market is 2,600 tons less than the last week, making this the fifth consecutive drop. But in a short term, the inventory is seven down and the price remains low. Last week, the 400 inventory in the Wuxi market increased by 1,600 tons, making the volume remain high. For now, the price of 430 in 2V finished by Tisco and Yesco runs about 1,635 US dollars per ton. Now we are going to talk about the rumors that everyone has heard of. On May 19, about 20 days after the tax rebate issue, the Prime Minister of the State Council mentioned an implementation of the increase in the export tariffs for steel products. The market is agitated, particularly the exports. Even the rumors says that it's going to be effective on June 1st. Enterprises like us that accept orders are urging for a faster and earlier processing and delivery. People are unsecure because we've had too much last breaking news. Yes, we are talking about the tax rebate issue. This time we need to be more cautious, so we need to process faster, deliver them earlier to minimize any potential loss. However, it's not easy, except from the unknown bomb there are more problems placed in front of us. The power rationing policy is updated, from closing one day a week to closing three days after three working days. This greatly surprises our productivity and prolongs our production time. Moreover, the container logistic is also time. Because of these two factors, although people are rushing to their orders, but it doesn't work as they expect. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching it. If you want to know more about it, just remember to link to our website and reach for market summary this week. If you are worried about these rumors, please cross your fingers to us and hope anything is not going to happen. Bye!